Hey, I'm Anfa. In this video, I want to talk about GuitarX plugins. GuitarX is a free and open source guitar effects processor for Linux. You can run it as a standalone program, effectively turning your PC or a laptop into a stomp box, but it also comes with a bunch of awesome LV2 plugins packing their fabulous processors so that you can use them, for example, in Ardor, my DAW of choice. I'm going to show you a bunch of my favorites to get you started, but first, we need some music to work with. Let me show you the GuitarX plugin that I use the most. GX Amplifier X is a free-in-one guitar stack emulation. It has a tube preamplifier with a bunch of tube modes that you can choose from. Right-click to open up this list, or you can just cycle through them. It also has a power amplifier stack with a bunch of presets based on famous um, designs. And last but not least, it has a cabinet simulation with a list of common and probably less common speaker cabinet configurations. Now, this allows us to get really diverse guitar sounds, but they are all grounded in the real life. And, you know, whether you need clean or crunch or drive or even fuzz, GX Amplifier X has it all. Let's play around with this a bit. Let's listen first to what we have here. I'm going to just loop this part. I'm going to mute the drums so we can just listen to Disable all the plugins. This is the dry guitar signal. Now, let's reset this preset. By default, it's pretty quiet. So, what you can do is rise the pre gain or rise the master gain of the preamplifier. Now, we can tweak this with drive or distortion or both now we can also change the tube models So we can drive it pretty hard. And still we have the cabinet 
to play with. Let's turn down the master. Two twelve inch speakers, one a single twelve inch speaker, four ten inch speakers, two double ten inch speakers, etc. Twin reverb. You can also disable the cabinet emulation and we can disable the power amplifier emulation. And now this sounds like you would just plug into a preamp and distort your signal there. That sounds dry, so usually we want to have something Gibson style. I think they can't use like the official brand names because, you know, copyright. And of course, on the power amplifier, we have some tone controls. Let's turn down this and see how loud we can drive this. Pretty loud. Even though we're turning it down by 30, 34 decibels, it's still pretty loud. Now, these are t dual uh, configurations. It's like, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah two different tubes, one after another. So yeah, that's Guitar X Amplifier X. Sometimes if I really want even more distortion, I simply add something like, say, tap tube warmth before and drive my sound with this before it even reaches um, the plugin. Let's see how it sounds on some power chords. Yeah, with such a lot of... With this amount of gain, we should probably use a gate or something. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Let's delete this tube warmth. And just back off a little bit. Yeah. So that's GX Amplifier X. It's a super useful plugin. And not only for guitars, like try using this on synths or drums. We can try it on drums right now. Let's copy this, paste it on our drum track. Now you wouldn't want this to be your dry, yeah, all wet. So I would do this, use this in a sand and then also cut off some bass and stuff. By the way, I forgot to enable my compression EQ to make the drums fatter. Anyway, let's go and focus on some other plugins because the next one I use a lot is GX Chorus Stereo. I have it here. What it does is, it's a simple chorus unit. Let's maybe disable the amplifier. So you have the basic delay. You have, like, it's a single voice chorus. So you have one voice. You have the depth of LFO modulation and the speed of LFO modulation. 
and this is dry wet. I have even some clipping on the uh, dry recording. Even though I've turned my preamp all the way down, I should have turned my guitar a little bit down. But that doesn't matter because I distorted it anyway. <laughs> so that's masked. All right, so I use Guitarix Chorus stereo sometimes uh, on guitars. If you just don't want to dub your guitar again for that sweet hard panned left right stereo image, like I do because I'm too sloppy. You can just drop this chorus, and I like to do it sometimes before the amplifier, so the chorus affects how the distortion works on the sound. And also, I think we get more stereo image that way. So yeah. The last plugin I want to talk about from the Guitarix bundle is... GX Reverb Stereo. It's a super simple reverb. Let's make it all the way dry. So it has a room size. Let's maybe go to the first notes where this. There's dampening. The more dampening the more the high frequencies are being filtered out in the tail. And there's LFO, which... I think it basically changes the panning. <laughs> there are two modes. I'm not sure what the, the linear mode does. Maybe the linear mode is just without the yellow foe. And the ping pong is... I think that can find some uses. It's a pretty unique feature in a reverb. But the thing I like the most about this reverb is that for some reason it, it sounds a bit like um, a spring reverb, which really well suits the guitar sounds. <laughs> I use my, you know, GX Amplifier X, I want to drop an EQ, and I didn't find a really decent EQ in the guitar Guitarix bundle, so I'm using EQ Thank You, it's my favorite one, and you see here I am boosting a little bit of the lows, let's disable everything and just listen what it does. Oh, you know what, let's AB it and... something painful here. Let's sweep around and... And here I want to remove a little bit of the muddiness. Now let's turn one of these into a low shelf. And boost the bass, because we don't have a bass guitar in this arrangement. So we need to get some bass from the rhythm guitar. Now a guitar amplifier will never, or guitar amplifier, a guitar cabinet will never output much more above 10,000 Hz because these only use the big drivers and the big drivers have an inertia that prevents them from just, you know, reproducing high frequency content. So it's natural that your guitar sound will not have much high frequency content, at least not above 10K. So you can see there's pretty much nothing above 10k. We can try and boost it. There's still nothing there. So I think what really uh, sometimes creates a very artificial and digital sounding guitar sound is if you have high frequency content above 10k. Because that's not something that happens if you push the sound through a guitar cabinet. So too long didn't listen. <laughs> GX Amplifier X is one plugin that can turn your dry guitar sound into fire!
There's a lot of more other plugins that come with GuitarX that I won't cover in detail. Uh, feel free to explore them on your own. Uh, in Ardor, you can find these plugins. If you, you know, right-click, new plugin, plugin manager, you can do either search by name and type the GX prefix, prefix, prefix. Most of the plugins have this GX prefix, so you can find nearly all the GuitarX plugins that way. But you can also switch to author and type in GuitarX. And now you see there are a few, actually there are two Latspa plugins that don't have the GX in name, so you're not missing out on much. Play around, find your favorite plugins. Maybe the ones I, I listed are going to be useful. Uh, just uh, keep in mind that, that m make sure your session is saved before you insert a plugin you have never used before. I had a situation where uh, the GX, yeah, I think searching by name is easier. GX tape, mm, yeah, GX tape stereo just uh, crashed out right away. So make sure you have everything saved before you experiment. That's like sometimes happens with plugins. Remember to experiment, like putting this on drums, guitars, synths, vocals, maybe some other sounds. The results might be pretty interesting. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, you can download the drum track uh, to have a play around with it. It's in 110 BPM. The link is in the video description. Um, also, let me know if you'd like to see how I made this drum part. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was worth your time. I also want to thank everyone who supports my work financially. These people make it possible for me to make videos like this one. If you'd like to join them and help keep this show going, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa. Now go and make some music.